Hello friends, in today's question, in the circuit shown here, point C is kept contacted to point A till the current flowing through the circuit becomes constant. Afterward, suddenly point C is disconnected from the point A and connected to point B at time t is equal to 0, ratio of the voltage across resistance and the inductor at t is equal to L upon R will be equal to. So this is the given circuit. Initially, point A and C are connected. And under this condition, R and L will be in series and in series with the voltage supply that is, let us suppose, V. And under this condition, we assume that the current flowing in this circuit, let us suppose, is given as I0. And in the question, it is given that the uh, current becomes constant. So it means the value of the current will be only dependent upon the value of the resistance. So I0 will be equal to V upon R. And in the second part, it is mentioned that A and C are disconnected and this point C is now connected with point B. Once again, R and L in series, but now the applied voltage is missing in the circuit. As soon as at T is equal to 0, the switch is slipped, uh, flipped sorry, and this uh, inductor is going to resist the change all of a sudden the change in the current. So now the change, uh, the value of the current will be given by the uh, I naught e raised power minus T R upon L, where R upon L is the time constant of the circuit. So this is the basic thing. So we have to remember that under steady state condition, the current will be only dependent upon the value of the resistance. And as soon as the switch is slip, uh, flipped between B and C, the current will be the decaying current because of the inductor, which is going to oppose the sudden change in the current. So we start from the first part and we say, that at t is equal to 0, at t is equal to 0, c is connected with a and it is mentioned that the circuit becomes circuit current becomes constant so therefore we can say from here that when c is connected with a the circuit behaves like a rl circuit and the steady state condition and under steady state condition current I current becomes constant And given as given as I not is equal to V upon R, where V is the supplied voltage and R is the resistance, where V is the supply voltage and R is the resistance in the circuit. R is the resistance. Now we come to the flipping of the switch. 
So it is mentioned that at t is equal to 0. So this basically is the representation of when t is you can say equal to 0 minus slightly less than 0 t minus 0 minus sorry and at specifically at t is equal to 0 point c is now connected with point b c is connected with b and supply voltage that is v is removed supply voltage v is removed and once again the inductor and the uh, resistance are in series inductor that is of l and resistor that is our R R in series now as the switch is all of a sudden pushed or flipped the inductor is going to resist the change in the current so we can say from here that inductor resists the change in the current causing decaying of the current causing decay of the current decay of the current and that equation can be given as now so we can say the current the circuit for t greater than 0 is our i of t which will be given as i naught e raised to power minus t r upon l Now the current will be dependent, time dependent current basically. Okay, that's why it is this expression consists of a time dependent function as well as the decaying function, which is our exponential part. Now under this condition, the voltage across the resistance, sorry, resistor. So we can say. voltage across resistor let us suppose that is given as vr and this vr will be equal to current i of t multiplied by r we substitute value of i of t and we get this as i naught e raised power minus t multiply by r and divide by l and this whole term is divided by r similarly we can write the voltage across the inductor voltage across inductor 
let us suppose that is given as v of l then this v of l will be equal to l di of dt once again we substitute value of i we get this is l di of dt and here comes our e naught minus t r upon l you can further solve it we get pl will be equal to minus i naught l r upon l e raised to power minus t r upon l and here the inductor cancels out and this comes as minus in i naught multiply by r e raised to power minus t r upon l so this is the voltage across the inductor and we are supposed to find out the ratio of the voltage across the resistance resistor and across the inductor at time t is equal to l upon r so you can say v r upon v l at time t is equal to l upon r so we simply substitute the value of v r v r was our i naught e raised power minus of t sorry i have to substitute the value of t and that comes as our l upon r multiply by r upon l and in the denominator we can write this as minus i naught r and this is i think i missed yeah i missed out here r and this comes as e once again value of time as l upon r multiply by r upon l now most of the terms all of the terms are going to cancel out here this goes with this and we are left with here and this entire term cancels out so this comes as equal to minus 1 so we can say that the ratio of voltage across the resistance voltage across the inductor at time t is equal to l upon r is equal to minus of 1 so if we check the options that are given to us option number c is the correct option you can say option c is So this completes the question. Thank you.